Welcome back. This is AP Environmental Science Chapter 4, and we're going to talk about the formation of convection currents, specifically in the Hadley cell. So convection is just the movement of molecules, whether that's in a liquid or a gas. And this is important because this is how heat is transferred in the atmosphere around the Earth, the surface of the Earth, and how weather events occur and such. And so uh, we're going to talk about the Hadley cell. There's other ones that we'll talk about in this course, but this video is just on the Hadley cell. And so the Earth is on an axis tilted at 23.5 uh, degrees. So depending on its uh, position around the sun, the sunlight is going to hit directly between 23.5 degrees north and 23.5 degrees south in latitude. So that's this dotted line that you see right here. That's called the ITCZ or the Intertropical Conve Convergence Zone. And so the sun is going to be hitting most directly sort of on that dotted line at different times of year. So when the sun's hitting near the equator uh, between 23.5 degrees north and 23.5 degrees south, it's going to be hitting it very directly. It's going to cause uh, moist, warm or hot moist air to heat up even more and it's going to rise. When it rises, it's going to experience what we call adiabatic cooling at that point. So when it goes up in the atmosphere, it's going to experience adiabatic cooling. Adiabatic cooling is when uh, the air rises in uh, the atmosphere, it's going to experience less pressure and so therefore it's going to increase in volume. It's going to increase in volume. When this occurs, uh, that air is going to cool down and that's why we call it adiabatic cooling. When it does this, it's going to then form clouds as you see here and the, water's, the water vapor is then going to be able to condense and fall back to the ground in the form of precipitation. And so that's why at the equator you have a lot of tropical rainforest. It's because you have a lot of precipitation because of uh, what's occurring right there. When the, air con or when the water vapor condenses, it's going to produce what we call latent uh, heat release. I can underline that. Well, I highlighted it for you. Latent heat release. And so what happens there is when the water vapor is going to uh, cool down and so therefore condense, when it condenses to a liquid form, it's going to release heat. The heat energy has to go somewhere. It's not lost. And so it's released into the atmosphere, heating the atmosphere, like air around it. And so therefore, this latent heat release is going to cause the air to um, expand and rise even further into the atmosphere. So it goes further into the atmosphere. That warm air is going to displace cooler air and uh, cooler, drier air. And that cooler, drier air is going to move either uh, south or north. And cooler air, because it's more dense, is going to then sink. It's going to sink down on either side of the equator. And as it sinks, it's going to experience adiabatic heating. Adiabatic heating is where when the air comes closer to the earth, it's going to experience more pressure and therefore decrease in volume. And when this occurs, it's going to, that air is going to therefore heat up. This is called adiabatic heating. When it reaches the surface of the earth, it's going to be warm and dry. And then it's going to ultimately flow back uh, to the equator. This event, the Hadley cell, is why you have hot and moist uh, tropics and the rainforest there. But on either side of the rainforest, you're going to have hot, dry desert. And this is all occurring between 30 degrees north latitude and 30 degrees south latitude. And so that is the Hadley cell. It's very important in terms of movement of moisture and, and uh, heat in the atmosphere. 
and uh, is our reason for our tropical rainforest biomes and our hot desert, dry desert biomes. And so this is very important. In another uh, video, I'm going to talk about the polar cell, so similar to the Hadley cell, but uh, at the poles. So this is a one-way heat is transferred through the atmosphere, and uh, we'll, there'll be more uh, videos to come on uh, unequal heating of the earth.